And so as we build our knowledge, right, where we talked in the first period, uh, in the first midterm, we learned about depreciation and doing it for partial years. And now we're going to expect to continue that knowledge and build upon it and do the partial year depreciation, uh, not just for straight line, but for all types of depreciation methods. We've already done this from chapter one through four though. So if you understood it in chapter one through four, I think you should be fine. We might just make it a little more complex. And that's where uh, all of you are in the class now and have gotten through the first midterm. Uh, I, uh, generally, you're going to continue to do well um, as long as you understood that foundation because we're really just slightly building upon what we originally did and practicing it. So 10,000 minus 1,000. Uh, again, if we had the same fact pattern, but we're just going to do it for three months out of the year, we just take three months of depreciation for that year. So same fact pattern, but we instead of putting it in January 1st or December 31st, we're in just in October 1st. And so we're just going to take it for three months, October, November, December. A, a question that might be asked is how do you determine that th there's different policies a company can elect for depreciation methods. There's um, You can elect it over days. You can elect it over months. You can elect it over uh, uh half months, you can elect it over quarters. That's a company policy decision, and it's not something you have to just worry about. But we'll, we'll say it in the question if you didn't depreciate over months or days. Yeah, I expect you, you'll have to know that partial years. And then here's just examples for partial years. So uh, I think that we can walk through this one pretty quickly. We purchased this from machinery with a total cost of 105000 That total cost might include the taxes and everything that we talked about at the beginning, and I might expect you to be able to. I expect you to be able to calculate that. Uh, but uh, that's one piece. So straight line depreciation is taken for each year for four years, assuming no salvage value. So no salvage value, so we don't have to worry about backing anything out of here. This machinery is disposed January 1st or July 1st, 2021, the fifth year of service. So first, we have to figure out what's the value of the machinery at this time, right? Value of machinery, balance of accumulated depreciation, we just take the 105,000 minus the salvage value, which is nothing, divided by seven times four to get our 60,000. 105 is the book value, zero dollars is the salvage value, seven years is the useful life, that's 15,000 a year is this calculation times the four years it's been in service to determine how much accumulated depreciation uh, we have, 60,000. Uh, the book value is 37500 uh, We have an additional 7500 here for the partial year of July. So this is for the first four years, and the fact that we are talk, trying to calculate in July, we also have to take an additional half year. This is a half year journal entry, the 7500 here. That's 15000 divided by two because we installed it January, but we have to focus on the fact that we dispose of it in July. This gives us an accumulated depreciation of 67,500 uh, based on the machinery of 105,000. That difference is going to be your 37,500. That's going to be considered your net book value as of July 1st, 2021. I expect you to be able to do a calculation like this. Uh, don't be overwhelmed by it. It's everything we've talked about so far. We know how to do straight line depreciation. I mean, this is easy for us. We know how to calculate depreciation expense and we've done partial years. So it shouldn't be hopefully not too complex at this point. Uh, prepare, if it is, practice these calculations so you get comfortable with them. Prepare entries to record the partial year. This is just the entry. And we've done this entry many, many times now. Debit depreciation, expense credit, accumulated depreciation. 